This code sample includes two files. We have the HTML file with uh, code in JavaScript that implements AJAX for getting data stored in the file data.json. If we check the file, then we can find that it includes um, data in the JSON format. Now, currently the two files are placed on the same server, on the same HTTP server. That's why when using the XHR object, as you can see, it works fine. Let's give it a try. Now, assuming that I want to take this file and place it on another server. So, let's take the file, the file that its name data.json and put it on another server. This is the file data.json currently within the folder jsonp demo inside the htdocs folder of the http server I have on my PC. Now I take this file and drag it to the folder Ajax within courses at abelski.com. Let's see that we have the accurate address. As you can see, if I try to browse this URL address, I get the file. So the file was transferred properly. Let's uh, try to change the code so that the HTTP request will be sent at this URL address, meaning that we actually try to uh, use the XHR object for fetching in asynchronous way a file that is stored on another server. As you know, sample.html is on the, on the HTTP server running on my PC, while data.json is on another HTTP server. Let's try to execute the code sample after the small change. As you can see, it doesn't work. And if we try to debug, as you can see, we get an error message because we try to uh, send an HTTP request using the XHR object to an HTTP server other than the one from which the code in JavaScript has arrived. It's not possible due to security restrictions in order to protect the user from uh, malicious code. So let's try to introduce a small change in our code sample. Well, instead of having just an object, let's change the code. Let's specify a call to a specific function. And the call to the function update, a function that still wasn't defined, will include the object we have passed over as an argument. Now, let's change the code over here in sample.html and include code in JavaScript that include the definition for the function we specify over here, update data. And the function will receive a reference for an object that will be assigned to the parameter student. Now, let's take the code from here over here let's just just change a bit so when the function is invoked a reference for an object is passed over and here we uh, extract the values we want from that object build a string and update 
this div with a string that includes the data uh, inside the object. Now, we don't need this code, so let's put a comment around it. And let's add a new script element that initiates a request to this URL address and let's make sure that we update the file we have on the server with the new version so I upload data.json I will overwrite the file we have and now when we browse the sample.html file this script element will initiate an HTTP request for getting the code returned from this URL address this code and as, as you can see this code includes a call to a function its name is update data update data is already defined over here so when the execution of the code of the HTML file arrived this line we we'll get back to the web browser this code that is immediately executed and this code includes the call to the update data function and this object is passed over to the function update data update data is defined over here and this function takes care after updating this div element with the data we want. Let's give it a try. As you can see it works fine. Going over the source code we can see that once the execution of the HTML file reached this line then the code inside data.json arrives and is executed. That code includes the call to the update data function that takes care after updating this div element.